welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna say good morning because it's good morning for me. So this is kind of basically how I look in the morning if my hair was done yesterday. A um, little crazy, a little rough, voice is a little scratchy, and I have coffee. But if you wanna know how I go from this to to this. Alright guys, if you guys want to know how I got this look right here and went from crazy, rough morning self to a beautiful, soft, glowy, glam self, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, to start off my morning routine, what I do is I just go in and prep all my skin. So I do my full face routine, I wash it, I apply my vitamin C serum and my moisturizers and also my deep puffing eye cream. Um, so after I do my full morning face routine, I went ahead and did my hair. All I do for that is take a one inch straightener and use it to kind of curl my hair alternating directions. And I just do that throughout, usually separating my hair in three layers. If you guys ever want to see me do my hair routine, it's really quick and easy. And I can go ahead and do that. Just leave me a comment below if you want to see it. Um, so I finished it off with some texturizing spray and then now we are going to move in to the face which is honestly really easy. This is my everyday look. Um, I sometimes add a little blown out wink, sometimes I don't. I will add it today just because I think it adds a little pop to a look. Um, so yeah, so all I'm going to do is start with my Hello Fab um, Coconut Skin Nut Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So I just take that, put it on my finger and rub it in all over my skin. Primer gives a really nice glow and it just kind of helps my makeup stay smooth and flawless all day. Okay, next we're going to take the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I use the color 1C. And I just take that a couple pumps on the back of my hand and then I use the It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush and I just take that and start blending it in. I really love this foundation because it just gives like a really nice soft radiant glow throughout and it's not super full coverage but it does give enough coverage to kind of cover up any imperfections you may have um but like i said it still kind of shows my freckles and still looks really radiant on the skin okay so now that we are done with the laura mercier foundation i'm going to take the laura mercier flawless fusion concealer and this color is in one end and i'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my eye and a little in the t-zone you guys know this is my favorite concealer it gives a really nice coverage but still kind of blends out into the skin really nice when you're not wearing super full coverage foundation and i'm just going to blend that in with a little sephora sponge Okay, so now that I have everything blended in, I'm going to let it sit for just a minute because I do not set my face, so I like to give the foundation and concealer a little bit chance to self-set. And then after that, we're gonna get started with bronzer. So I let the foundation sit for a little bit, and now we're going to go in with Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is just in the shade Bronzer, and I'm gonna take a Morphe R14 brush and just start buffing it into the hollows of my cheeks here. I don't go super heavy-handed in this. I like to keep it just light and as natural as possible. I also take that Physicians Formula and run it along the underside of my jaw here. I also like to take the same bronzer and use a Morphe B15 brush. Looks just like this and run this along the side of my nose very lightly. the Physicians Formula Bronzer, I like to use Wet n Wild Bronzer in Palm Beach Ready. Kind of looks just like this. The cap broke off, but what are you going to do? I take that on a Morphe E42, and I just start pouncing it a little bit on top of the cheekbone right here and along the hairline. We're done with bronzer. I'm going to go into the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in No Vacancy. I swear that name is the hardest thing to say for me. <laughs> it's a really soft, corally pink color, and I'm just going to take that on a little Eco Tools dome brush and pat that onto the apples of my cheeks. I also like to take this color and just kind of move it on like a soft C right here. Okay, so after 
after that No Vacancy blush, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Lunch Money. So I just take this highlighter on my finger and I apply it to the top of my cheekbone right here. And just start patting it in and blending it with my finger. I'm going to take that same highlighter and just tap it along the bridge of the nose and the tip. And a little on the cute bow. So after highlight, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. And I use number three. It looks just like this. And I just take that and softly fill in my brows. them in with that benefit powder I like to go in with the NYX control freak eyebrow gel and I just brush it very softly along to hold kind of everything in place okay so for eyes I'm going to use the dose of colors Desi X Katie friend occasion palette this one right here it does have some really fun pops of color in it but I love to use it just for the neutrals for my everyday makeup so I take this first color right here called basic and I just Start patting that all over the lid and in the crease. I work it in a windshield wiper motions and kind of make sure I blow it out right here. Okay, so after basic, I go in with the middle color right here. This one's called Necessary, and I take that same Morphe M505 and just run it along the crease to deepen it up. Okay, I take that same Necessary color on the same brush and just slightly pack it into this outer corner right here and make sure it's blended. Okay, so moving on, that's all I do for the top shadow. Um, I do apply a little wing, but what I like to do first is go ahead and go underneath and add that color necessary on a ColourPop E9 and just lightly run it underneath my lower lash line here. I like to make sure it's connected to that little blown out wing we have here. Okay, so after I'm done blowing out the lower lash line, I like to go in with this color right here called Churro. And I use this color to create a really soft wing using a Morphe B35 brush. So all I do is I kind of just start pressing it in very lightly right here to give our little outline. Start bringing it back in very, very softly, and I really kind of want it like a really smudgy, blown out wing. I only bring the wing about halfway into my eye, I don't go all the way in with the color. After I've gotten most of the wing shape on, I like to take that brush and clean it off, and then use it to just kind of blend out and make sure that wing is really kind of soft and diffused. After I am done blowing up that wing and making sure it is really soft, I go in with ColourPop Lunch Money again, and this time I use a Morphe M507, and I just kind of swirl it in and tap it in the inner corner here. I also take a little bit of Lunch Money as well and pop it just above the brow bone to give a nice little glow right there. Okay, so after I'm finished adding that little inner corner highlight and the brow glow, I'm going to curl my lashes and then go in with the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extension and just apply it to the top and bottom cup. Okay, and you can totally add lashes to this look. If I were going to do false lashes, I would probably go in with the Ardell Wispies, but my eyes are feeling a little irritated today, so instead I'm just going to add a second coat of mascara, but this time I'm going to use the ColourPop BFF Mascara in Black on Black. And I'm going to apply this just to my top lashes to give them a little bit more definition and thickness. Okay, so now that the eyes are all complete, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and I'm going to go in with the color Seductress, and apply this all over my lips. The scent smells like a cookie. It smells good. Okay, so after I'm finished applying Seductress, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline lipstick in Baddest Beige and apply it just to the center of my lips. And for 
for our final step, I'm just going to go in with this Morphe setting spray here and just mist my entire face. is so easy and it's so like such a soft glam glowy look that you can easily do in 15 minutes or less. I absolutely love this look. I love the way it just completely transforms you in the morning but also doesn't take very long. Um, if you guys want to see me do any other looks go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and please hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I post every Tuesday and Friday. Alright guys, bye!